Hey my friends, welcome back to some more of the Outer Worlds and we are heading back to... No, first I should say, how are you this morning? How are things going, friends? I hope you're doing good. hope you're doing good. I need to not get so excited. But we're going to see if I have enough persuasion now to talk to Zoe and see what happens. Ever consider the Marauder Life? It's pretty sweet. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Okay, uh... Two. All right, so that did it. We got our, we got it back. But now we need to go back to Grace, and she is back toward the. There goes another ship. Anyway, we sold her junk. We sold her junk. That, for some reason, wants me to do a Beavis, a Beavis and Butthead joke. I want to do some exploring. I don't know if it's good to do exploring, but I want to, but not today. <laughs> today we're going to go see Grace, and I want to see about the sending the power to the veil. I think that's still part of the quest we have. I guess we did loot all those. Oh, that's kind of creepy, that blinking there. What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Something about wanting to be an outlaw, I'd rather not get into it. Let's do that. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Well, thank you. Let me know if I can do something for you. Can I have a cool hat like you? Is that all I she got? I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. One of your weapon or armor items is broken, and at a minimum, one of my weapon or one of my weapon or I thought I just repaired everything. Well, okay. Let's go back to Edgewater then. I thought I just repaired everything. I gotta go look. Maybe, maybe I need to repair, um, maybe Pavate needs something repaired. Where's my shop? Where's our shop? Here we go. Been eating nothing but salt tuna. Maybe we need repair hers. Uh, repair. Okay. It doesn't seem unless that was. Nope, nothing there. Can't tinker. I've modified everything. I don't know how many of these weapons I should be breaking down, or how many I want to carry. This looks cool. I like that. I wonder how... Um, what is she carrying? She's got this, which is a tier 2. Let's see, what does this one do? 142, and this one does 120. Level four. Let's give that to her. That might be better for her. 137, 121. Doesn't have any any mods on it, and I can't get the mod off of that one. Uh, 
All right, let's try it. Let's let's trade him around a little bit and see what happens. Let's trade him around and see what happens. All right, now back to here. You delivered Reed's message. Refused Edgewater. Three switches. You activated one of the switches. Need to direct. You activated a second. All three switches have been flipped. You should now be able to redirect the power plant from the master control terminal. So that's the one we want to go back to. Is that active now? That's active. Yeah. What was this one? Oh, search the domicile. Okay. All right. Let's see. If that will help us get a part for our <coughs> for our um, ship. Damn, I'm still fighting this stupid. Uh oh, something red on the screen. That's interesting. What's this about? I cannot fast travel while near hostiles. Are we about to get raided or something? Have they respawned? Where'd they go? I see anything? Maybe that was a bird or something flying by. Oh, I guess I could have fast traveled. That was kind of dumb. Wow, we missed a bunch of stuff. Unless that's a new corpse. Man, I tell you. My ability to look at stuff and find ways in really sucks. I still can't believe that was there. And that crawly hole. I mean, come on, the crawly hole. Damn, did I... Did I not loot those guys yesterday? Oh, I didn't go in here, I know that. What do we got here? Oh, got to hack it. Disarm security fences. Oh, crap. Oh, that would have been so much freaking easier. That would have been so much easier if I had just... Uh, I guess that's all we can do is just that. Okay. Wow, look at all the stuff we left behind. Well, as I think I have probably told you many times, I have never claimed to be a genius or even good at gaming. I mean, I do have fun, so I can't complain too much, I guess. Now, it should be okay in here. Oh, I like that one. I think everything should be gone. <laughs> I 
I know I said in a previous episode I kind of like how it's not so confusing to, to get somewhere once and do, do something. This, there's no going back. Okay, once we do this, there's no going back. Pavati, I trust you. Excuse uh -oh. me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. Let's see what she has to say. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Okay, crap. Now we are like, like a dilemma type thing. Reed tells me Edwater is going to die without workers and power. The deserters are a community. I can't destroy what they built. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Oh man, I hate stuff like this. So we either fix the veil or we kill Edgewater or we... Oh shit. Let's see. What does it say? What's the next thing say? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Don't worry about it. I was barely listening to you. <laughs> Let's get going. Leave the conversation. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Okay. And that did not update the quest. Wow. Okay. You delivered a message. She refused. Redirect power. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, I'm... I am procrastinating, friends. I'm going to get a drink of my tea. Hold on. You know what? Ah, oh, damn it. I want to be a wuss. And I want to, um... Book Collectors, Rest Small Community, in North Edgewater. I want to cheat and go read on the internet what it says in which choice you make. I don't like read. You already know that. I've said that in several episodes, I think. I, but I don't want to screw over the townsfolk because I think they're getting screwed over by the company. And I, I can't tell if Adelaide, Adelaide, whatever her name is, I can't tell if she's really a bad person and again I suppose if I was streaming this I'd be asking you guys in the stream what do you think we should do okay where is this place at clear over there what's this abandoned industrial zone we never went there either did we Okay, let's fast travel there. I wonder if that costs me anything. Oh, check out that poster. I'd like to have that in my house. Okay, so now we're here. And now we need... See? We're closer now. Did we kill everything here? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat and go see if I can't find a tip or a hint on it. I don't like Reed, but like I said, I don't want to kill off the townspeople. And I don't care for... I mean, I like DeVale. Yeah. You guys can yell at me in the comments. How's that? Oh, hello.
Let's see, I don't have a... I don't think I have a... Yeah, I don't. I need a... I need a melee weapon. I don't know if how that'll work on him, but... I wish there was a peek around corners. There's so many games that, that I really wish... Okay, well... Looks like sneaking up on him now might not be, be available since I did not see that one. I want to see how this thing works. Okay, that worked. But I still wish they had the tilt out thing, or what do you want to call it, lean out? Okay, well... Okay, there's one right there. And one right there. He's still standing down there. I really want to do some stealthy shit, but so far... I haven't seen where stealth has played a whole bunch in this. How long is he going to stay there? Shit. I can't get my right with gun going. Are you okay, sweetheart? Damn. That kind of sucked. Okay, well, now are they all dead? And I keep forgetting to shoot those things. That makes me so mad. That would have been so much easier if I would have just shot that. Any more? Oh well, it was still fun. What is that? I guess that's just to designate where you don't want to fall down. Just got the letter today. Corporate order me to relocate T-34 
to the Edgewater Cannery. Effectively, immediately, it's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare, rare, mer mer memorabilia. Yeah, whatever. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for the book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books molding, moldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them away in a cave by the river. Okay. 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 So now we gotta go to the river, but we want the, the lock picking device. And we're still looking for a toilet pistol. What is this? Message from Jay Bartell. I find I must disagree with your theories about the Earth's decorate deck deck director deck yeah place in a colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they voting for us, I believe Halix on in the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of Earth Minister if they had a choice in the matter? Of course, I'd never dispute the heart of the colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which man, humankind truly thrives is to be found out here amongst the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of the skip drive was not was not what gave Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them weakened. Okay. Okay, so we've had a war. We've had a war. I've never noticed those little lights there before. to look into the crafting thing too. I'm curious as how that works. What the hell is that? Oh, is that Edgewater? Damn, we were that close to Edgewater. Oh, I thought something might be hidden around there. That was probably another good way to sneak around and get the book and not have to kill everything and Everybody, are you stuck, Favati? Damn. I'm still a little worried about what those noises are. That sound like a monster yelling. Man, I love looting. That's why it's so hard in seven days to die to stop. You just want to pick everything up. You just want to pick up everything. You just got to put your hands on it and say, Oh, I want to feel it. I want to rub it on my face and on my hair. Okay, that might have been getting just a little creepy. Might have been. Might have been just a little creepy. Okay, I guess we couldn't get up that one, huh? Now, where's this place at? That direction. What's the closest we can get to it? Is that pretty fast? Should we just run it? I mean, is it how far away is it? It's only 228 meters. Let's just go ahead and run it. Wait, did we get all these corpses? We did not. I will take all all the ammo I can get. I'm not sure what my maximum is, but looks like we need to go over land, don't it?
this is where we're going to get to experience the uh, old cave entrance yeah this is where we're going to get to experience the uh, screaming monster noise I don't see anything, do you? I guess that's just something burning. That water noise is going to make me want to pee. Yep. River hideout. Well, that can't be good. That's got to be a landmine. That's got to be a landmine. I wonder how close we can get. Oh, well, it's dumb. P Pavadi, get over here. Come on here. Damn. Uh-oh. Wow, we leveled up on that one. So cool looking safe though. I wonder why you would want to store anything in there. You know, someone let you transfer maybe I guess to transfer junk, I guess you could do that, right? Okay, let's get away from that. I want to go down the cave a little further. Actually, you know what I think we're gonna do? Just because uh oh we got stuff to do too. We got stuff to do. Let's do that first. Oh. Perks. Character. Wrong button. What were we looking at? Was it Pavati? We were looking at sprint speed. Base reading, armor, vendor machines, tactical time dilation, transporting goods, should have been a cargo hauler, companion experience, being a shrewd negotiator, you've grown healthier, time dilation, sometimes you're the only person you can trust, that's okay, you deal increased damage when adventuring alone, well we probably won't be adventuring, adventuring alone. Should I recharge it? Vending machines, let's see. General items available, this affects the next time the vendor restocks. You, after some unsanctioned adjustments, the workbench's site alignment tool is more accurate. Companion crit chance. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and let's give her some some crit chance. Now let's go to skills. Oh, I've got some armor on that's screwing up my stealth. It's good for protection, but it sucks for... Yeah, crap. And I just scrapped all my stuff. Let's put a couple more in there.
Maybe we should go ahead and put a couple more dialogue. Let's just get it to 20. How close? Okay, we just went by that one, just went by that one, just went by that one. We got 20 of those. Each tech point soothing features medical engineering science skills 50 points each. How far off are we? We'll just put a bunch in that. Yeah, it might be wrong, but it might be wrong, but what the heck. Okay. So now we have got makeshift low pressure. See this is what I got on and that was messing with my helmet's been modified the last one. Looks sturdy, it smells. Thank you. Advanced defensive. Makeshift low pressure. Low pressure suit has been a better days. It should have held together some protection, but it's not recommended to wear in a hard vacuum. Wow, that's a lot of armor. Oh well, what's she wearing? I forgot. Well, she, I'm going to let her wear the... I wonder if I should put the other one on her. Nine and nine. Okay. Well, should we go look and see what the hell this is? Since I've wasted all that time and saved the game and... Okay, well that just took us to Edgewater. Oh, another ship going by. Are you bringing in salt tuna? I guess not. Okay, so now we have to decide on our quest too. Oh, look at all the corpses. Is this the other side of the graveyard? They have stuff hidden all over, don't they? Part of me wants to check every one of them graves to see if there's um Oh, these must be the new ones getting ready, huh? Okay, so what do we got going on in here? What do we got to do in here? Had your rations yet? I bet that's pointing us toward well maybe not. You think corporate's Oh we got the book back. That's right, we got the book back, didn't we? Wait, where's the church's entrance? Here it is. Let's go see what the vicar has to say.
Any progress on that matter we discussed? Yeah, I got your book right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Well, I'm friendly now as Facer's choice. I suppose if I turn the power off, I won't be. You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You just wanted it for yourself. You're overreacting a bit, don't you think? Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. I don't like him either. At least you still have your mission work here to give your life a meaningful purpose. Why did you think the book held secrets you're looking for? This has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. I really want to say that, but I want to ask him what he thinks the secrets are. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. <clears throat> What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. A vicar searching for a banned book sets a bad example. At least you still have your mission. This has to be some kind of... Let's do number one. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. Uh-oh. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Could be a beneficial arrangement. You need a ride out of town. I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Let's see what's it in for me. Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Okay, so now we have a choice of trading off Parvate for this dick, but he knows computers and she doesn't. <laughs> Sounds good, let's go. That's all part of your vicar training. Spiritual counseling, are you even a real vicar? Not sure I'm in the market for a hacking, brawling vicar. Some other time. Man, I don't want to get rid of her. I don't like him. I guess as a personal thing, I shouldn't do that as the game goes, but maybe we can come back. Yeah, he doesn't care. He just said, okay, fine. All right, Pavate, you better stick with me because... We're together now. Buffy thinks I made the right choice. Now what do we got to do? We got to go this direction. 35 meters. Okay. It's remember the dog in Far Cry 5 or what it was I tried there for a while. Boomer. Boomer. See... I like Boomer. I would have had a hard time getting rid of that dog for any other... What do we got over here? Easy. 
Oh, I need to get, I need to, I need to break down a bunch of stuff. Where is it? Where do I need to go next? 411 meters. I guess I should check and see. I guess I got to go back to the, um, Yeah, see, I got a couple things I got to do here. Maybe we should get rid of some of our gear or break down some of our gear real fast. Wonder if the plague's ever going to. So we don't get overloaded. Oh. Don't worry. I wouldn't do Damn it, Pavati, where's our business? Here it is. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Maybe if we go back to to uh, Adeline, maybe she'll um. Okay, it's got nothing special on it. That's got nothing special on it. So this is a nice looking shock cannon, but it's probably the same shock cannon as that. Yeah. So let's break that one down. Break that one down. Sixty. Improvised weapons, skill damage 44. That still does more, yeah, that still does more. We got an extra assault rifle. Light machine gun, shock cannon, sawed-off shotgun, assault rifle. Okay, I don't think I want to break down any of that. Can we modify anything? Man, we are carrying a lot of weapons that we probably should... We probably should... Um, Elite Trooper. Okay, let's leave it at that. Where's that shotgun at? Just in case we need it. Okay. Well, let's go see what we got to do here. Maybe Adeline or Adeline or whatever her name is will have an. Oh, wait. Now, this is... Crap. What are we doing here? This is the wrong place. I, I need to go to the Vale. What is our journal? Stranger in a Strange Land. What is this one? You've learned that the power regulars Edgewater we already know the master plant plan. Reed asks you to deliver a message to Roman. Damn. I suspect it's gonna make me There's nothing there. I don't think there's anything there. I'm going to have to make the decision, friends. Because it doesn't seem to be telling me to go to... Where is she at? She's in here. Yep. Quest is telling me to go back to the power plant. I was just hoping that maybe she might enlighten me. Anything else I can do for you? Well, we're screwed. This might seem strange, but I don't know where I am. No, sorry, might sound strange. When we first talked, you assumed I come to live here. I am getting old, you know. 
These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. <laughs> or I might have seen you for what you are. And what's that? Remains to be seen. Might be the woman that saves the veil. Might be Reed's personal gun hand. Save the veil. People around here lack the strength to affect change. Or they have the strength, but not the will. You seem to have both. <laughs> Shit. This ain't making it any easier. Why are you telling me all this? I just made a sterner stuff. Flattery won't work on me. A little prattling never hurt anyone, dear. You might even catch a little sense, if you listen close enough. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. Wow, maybe it deserves to come to an end. You could always continue your way of life back in town. Reed's making an offer in good faith. You should consider it. I don't think he's making it in good faith. What makes you say that? You can't change the world by running away from it? I just hate seeing people happy. No, 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 no. You're not contributing to society. Let's train number this one. This is my home. It will be my home even if Reed cuts our power. Simple as that. Reed's making an offer in good faith. You and Reed obviously have some sort of history. Let's see what that does. That's because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist, you see. Remember that limited run of white chocolate saltuna? That was all me. That sounds kind of disgusting, friends. There's obviously, let's see, you could always continue away back to like town. Perception, it does go too. There's obviously more to it than that. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I'm guessing Reed has his own side of that story. I could not possibly care less if he does. But you're surely welcome to ask him. I think we're going to have to. Wow, I really don't like Reed. And I wonder if the plague is because of them. You know what I mean? <coughs> Should we go try to talk to Reed and see what he says? I'm kind of curious. What is this? That's the landing pad. Let's go see if Reed is around. Okay, time for some tea. Alright, where was Reed? I do not remember. He was in... Nope, that's the sick place. Cantina. Was he in barbershop? Nope, he's not there. He's not in the general store. Where was he at? Was he in this big building over here someplace, the cannery? Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. I think he was actually in the cannery, wasn't he? Oh, that's the outside. I want to go to the door. Let's go see what he has to say, friends, and then maybe we can we can take a break. What do you think? I haven't had any breakfast yet this morning. You know, this thing doesn't look like it's this tall, you know what I mean? My offer remains standing, should you reconsider. I gave some thought, Reed. I'll help you. I want to talk to you about something. Go ahead. Have you taken a look around your town lately? What makes you think I can convince the deserters to come back? You seem pretty fixed on bringing Adelaide back to town. We need to have a word about the plague. 
Oh, man, I really want to know. Let's ask him that. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change, people change, but the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. The town is falling to pieces. You're loyal. Let me ask you something else. Go ahead. <laughs> what makes you think I can convince those deserters to come back? You seem pretty fixed on bringing Adelaide back to town. That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. There is an ugly place. This is an ugly place to live. Of course people are going to walk away. Sometimes people move on. It's the way of things. I'm not going to tell him not to blame himself. But I ain't going to tell him it's an ugly place. Let's Nature see what that gets. Uglier. There is safety here. Safety and purpose, but not all of us see that, and I cannot force that vision upon them. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to plague, but it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. Did they have plague at the Vale? Did they miss that? Uh, let's find out about the personal history. Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked away, I knew we were in trouble. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus-flavored Saltuna in our heyday. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and spearmint. I guess that's all we're going to get out of him. And with that, friends, we are going to take a break here. I'm going to fix some breakfast. And like I said, I'm going to be a wuss and I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to go look up on the internet <laughs> and see what happens between the two choices. Because I don't like him. But boy, it's really hard not to. Yeah, nothing there. It's really hard to think about dumping either one of the communities down the toilet. But I wonder if the salt tuna is causing the plague. Yeah. All right, friends. Thanks for coming along. Hope you had a good time. Hope you're enjoying it. Take care. Be safe out there and watch over your families. Bye-bye.